In the previous video we started working on our ruin. We took off the roof and had a better look at the structure itself. It's rough and basic. Patched together brickwork with some additional things stuffed in there with cement. It misses some essential structural strength on the bottom and the top wall is very weak. Taking down is probably cheaper and easier, but we like to try and keep as much as possible the materials in their existing state. So first step is reinforcing, so we have a strong base. So yeah, welcome to a new project camp update, let's get started. So this is the bottom of the ruin, built of granite, which makes it very strong and the floor is leaning on top. Except this part right here, this is made from bricks, uh, which is not structurally strong enough to hold the entire floor. So we need to reinforce this part, uh, we're going to probably make a metal frame to make sure not all the load is on the bricks, but it's actually on a strong frame. And the frame would be coming here on the granite. So the first thing we're going to do is clean up this edge so we can measure it and make a proper frame. And the floor down here in this room is also not leveled at all. Uh, there it's super low in that corner here, it's very high. So as we're working with the hammer to clean up the edge, we're probably also just going to clean up this one. And uh, after that level it to make sure we have a good base. So time to hammer! <laughs> So the stony work is now done, this uh, edge here is leveled and straight, so now we're going to make a metal frame that supports the roof. After we cut the frame into its size, it's time to weld it together. We're using a 12 cm H-beam to carry the load. It's the thickest, heaviest object we made here so far from metal. So taking it down is a bit of a challenge. Let's see how that goes. After we managed to carry it down, we gave it a paint job ready to go in. And moving here was already challenging, but what's actually way bigger challenge is getting it up that edge. Mainly because it's just heavy, but what made it more challenging is that we can't just easily put it on there, since it's quite a tight space and gap between the edge and the ceiling, it's like a centimeter. But the whole ceiling and walls are wobbly and curved, so we ask a few hands to help out and try to bring the thing into its position. 
It worked fine in terms of lifting, but unfortunately it didn't fit. Still some wobbly wall. So yeah, we needed to bring it down again, cut it once more and then try it again. And finally, with the help of all hands on Project Camp, we made it. We managed to lift it again and fit it perfectly. So now we can continue with the renovation. After the bottom was reinforced, it was time to have a look at this beautiful brick wall on top. Hey, so today we're gonna have a look at this very beautiful wall. It's a very sketchy wall, not stable at all. And we wanna chop out a piece here. Uh, the main reason is uh, because the wall is already very terrible here, so we had to rebuild it anyway. And we're gonna make space to insert a sliding door frame, old pump from Rita's mom. So this would also become the main entrance of the building. Um, but we're a bit scared of that wall because it's very unstable at this point. So Tim made a very good safety measurement. It's uh, this sketchy wall connected to this sketchy wall, uh, which makes sure they don't fall over. Don't tighten it too much, you'll pull the wall in. Put a little bit of, no, hardly any tension in it, and yet the whole wall is shaking. So the first thing we're going to do is we cut a line and then brick by brick we're going to take it down. Ideally we save as much as possible so we can rebuild some holes. Tim is getting ready there in the shape. I think it's safe Tim? I think it's as safe as we can make it. You hold it a bit Tim. Yeah. It feels a bit safer. Got it? Yeah. is now out went surprisingly easy I think we almost saved all the bricks because they were not really stuck um, and now we're gonna at the end of the day we're gonna uh, cement it a bit back the holes and the frame put the lentil here on top but now it's gonna be too warm so we're gonna take a little siesta and then continue see you later straight line not straight line Special announcement. All right, so we are looking for a new video maker. Yeah, so at the beginning of the season, we had Felix helping us out to make videos for season two. Uh, but unfortunately, he has to stop. A uh, few reasons, uh, it's because it's just heavy on this setting to uh, edit videos with flies and it's hot, not a stable office. But also really producing a video each week is quite intense. He's not used to that. Uh, and in general, I think also just YouTube comments, a lot of opinions can make it hard. So unfortunately he won't be able to continue, so we're looking for a new video maker. We're actually aiming to get two, to also just reduce a bit the workload on the video maker itself. 
Um, so this is a request to you guys. If you're interested in making videos here, come and help out. Or maybe you have friends that want to come. Um, we wrote an article or a post or, I don't know, a community post on the YouTube with more information, also about the reasons why Felix stopped, also what we're looking for. Uh, in short, making videos until the end of the season, which would be November, and then until update number 70. So you can do the math until when that is. Uh, and it will be producing a weekly video. So if you're interested, make sure to read that post with all the information and sign up to help out. Uh, yeah, now back to the ruin. So it's now uh, end of the day, we're in the shade, so we started cleaning the bricks to get the old cement off. They're now here and Tim is uh, putting them back together and uh, so the frame sticks in there. So we built this up, put a lentil on top and then should be good. Next we're going to add the windows. We will add some in the bottom so it's not a dark cave and in the top to fill well the window holes that are already there. And we got in touch with Ronald. He had a bunch of glass and window frames left over from his home renovation a few years ago. He gave it to us for our future buildings. For the rune we are going to use the double glass and he has a few cool wooden frames with that. So here we have some windows. We have these ones which is a window, double glass, which is cool, with a frame, but not the external frame, so we would need to make that. Big door. And there's also a whole stack of this double glass. Uh, I think he ordered it, but it was wrong or something for his house. So it's uh, pretty new, but doesn't have any framing around it. So we need to find a way to add those. But I think we're gonna use this one and this one for the ruin. So our wood tools are not very advanced yet, so we brought it to a local wood guy so he could make a frame around it. And he made the frames pretty basic, not angled, and no water drainage in there. We would think the water would flow just inside, but his suggestion was to put the frames under a small angle, so the entire frame, and the water then just flows out, which is apparently a very common to do around here, bit skeptical about this approach, but hey, it's a sketchy rune, so let's see. So here we have windows that are already there, and our windows that we just made are somewhat fitting. The height fits in, but they need to have a few centimeters here chopped out. So we're probably going to chop a few on the left and the right, so that we can keep the lentil above, uh, and then the windows should fit in. <laughs>
before we were working a lot with the stairs just because that was the only thing we had but now we asked George, a neighbor, uh, if he had some scaffolding so he borrowed us some very classic traditional Portuguese scaffolding bit rusty, bit heavy but uh, this is the thing they use around here so uh, yeah we're gonna put it up and from then on we should be able to work better at a height especially if we start doing the windows upstairs and uh, the roof so, yeah let's puzzle this together safety switches stairs stackable cross that goes in the back and the wooden shelves So next we're gonna do the two windows here on top. They're gonna be slightly different because we're first gonna put in a granite frame and then the wooden one. Um, it's a bit more of a proper way of doing it. It's also very common actually to do around here because you find a lot of granite and many of the houses here have that frame. Um, so we got some granite, we got the wooden frames, some cement. Now we're just gonna build them in here. All right, so let me show you the final result. So we now have a window that can open, which creates a good airflow with the door. Another window here that gives a good view to the outside. Reinforced frame to make sure uh, the whole thing doesn't collapse. Then on the outside, we have the big hole for the door, the big sliding door. It's not installed yet because we first want to do a bit more work on the inside. Uh, you might think, how do you get into that door? So the plan is to build a bit of a balcony here in front that you can sit outside. And this would also be the main entrance. Main reason also for doing that is that this door is just really low. So we're gonna close this one up and then we can also arrange the interior a bit easier. Over here we have a window frame from the granite, finished, ready to put in the wood. It's under a slight angle to make sure the water and the rain uh, flows out and not in. Here we already put in a frame just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, very convenient if I look outside, I look straight at the granite and to really see the view I just do a bit of bending. And next we also actually wanted to take out this wall uh, because you have an awesome view back here. But we're a bit scared of taking out this one at this point because uh, it gives strength to that wall, which is still very fragile. So the next step would actually be to build a wooden frame uh, that makes everything structurally strong connected together. We're also gonna look into the insulation, what to do with that. If you already wanna see the next video, uh, make sure to subscribe on Patreon so you can see it or not. And just continue to watch here. See you next Monday with a new video. That was it for this one. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. And look at the view.